all types of uh, chillers occur surge? No, not all types. So this is specific to centrifugal. So the other types, the two primaries in today's world would be a scroll or a screw compressor. Uh, scrolls and screw are positive displacement, so are reciprocating if for any reason, like you, that's still your world, there, there's parts of the world that those are still fairly common. Because these other compressors are, they're not aerodynamic, they are positive displacement. Because they're positive displacement, they're actually, they're able to overcome those high, uh, those high lift conditions in a completely different way. Uh, now you can still with those compressors what you end up doing is you run you you run the risk of over pressurizing the heat exchanger to its trip point or burst point which is where we have relief valves or we have high pressure switches you will hit that boundary before you put that compressor in a position where it could exceed what lift it's capable of doing so just to kind of paint a picture there as to a positive displacement the limitation there is not how far how much lift the compressor can have but the heat exchangers uh, capacity or, or uh, pressure ratings are lower than the compressors lift ability but with an aerodynamic design <clears throat> that is not true the centrifugal I want to be careful with the way I phrase this but under normal circumstances the centrifugal's lift is not going to exceed vessels pressure rating now i want to say that statement with a very big caveat you can still trip high pressure on a centrifugal you can still trip low pressure you can still trip both those things are still true and those pressure ratings are are there to protect the vessels from a dangerous con well the low pressure is there to keep us from freezing things but the high pressure is there to protect the vessel from over pressurizing and tearing anything else up yeah, I just I want to I'm trying to say that within within the best context I can without being misleading in the way I'm phrasing it. Centrifugals are because they're aerodynamic. That's what we have to deal with surging screws, scroll, reciprocating. Those are not that way. Those are not a surge issue for us. If you're not already in Chiller Academy, I'd really encourage you to go check it out. Just think about it, right? Uh, this is what I do full time. I, I've I've committed I've stepped out of the field, committed my career to this going forward. This is what I've always wanted to do and to be able to educate, help others and grow and help this industry take step, steps forward. Um, so chilleracademy.com, like I'd, I'd love to be able to work with you over there. We've got a community page. Uh, every, all the lessons have a comment section. That's what I spend a lot of my day doing. If I'm not working on the lesson material itself, then I am in the comments and I'm trying to respond to those as fast as I can. Uh, in addition to helping you through email and otherwise. So love to be able to work with you. For all of those that are in the academy, y'all are doing some great work out there. Keep it up. I really appreciate the support and the feedback that you've given.